Good morning, Stanton. This is Ms. Hearts on the Bass Radio, broadcasting 24-7 with music, talk, news, and live interviews. It's a lovely smoggy day in Lorville with barely breathable yet still classified as satisfactory air. The transit system is still running double trains, and they're so close together you could almost say they're on top of one another. Make sure your next stop is at Tammany & Sons in the L19 Workers District to pick up the latest in Hurston fashion, the Geisen Ready Up. Nothing helps you breathe the Lorville air better than a bag on your head. Hey, come on. It's time to get up. We gotta go pick up the new ship at the dealer. I don't want to. I brought you coffee and everything. It's time to go. We looked at so many, I'm confused. Is this the one that held the 12 SCU of cargo space? No, that was the 315P. This is the one that only held six SCU. I thought we were gonna be doing some trading. You know, light freight? We are. But this is only going to do half. You'll see. It'll be okay. They both have an internal space to sit down delivery boxes or any kind of carried item. And you said you wanted to carry your Grey Cat PTV buggy around. Oh yeah, that's right. This is the one that would do that. Everybody in the neighborhood has a golf cart, and I want my golf cart with me. Mmm, this coffee is great. Do you think the coffee maker in the new ship will make it this good? Well, this ship doesn't have a shelf to put a coffee maker. What? Well then, if I get tired from the lack of caffeine, at least I can lay down in the bed and take a nap in the middle of what we're doing. Um, this ship doesn't have a bed either. You're joking, right? A sink? No. A refrigerator? No. Ugh. Well, at least it has a potty. I have to go pee now. Well, this ship doesn't have a potty either. Are you kidding me? It'll be fine. There's plenty of rest stops in the verse. Rest stops? I can't even pull out my gun in there to take care of the baddies. Speaking of which, this doesn't have a gun rack either. Well, then what does this ship have? Well, it does have those beautiful views all around like you wanted. You'll be able to see above and below. It's like riding in a little bubble in space. Oh yeah, I really did like that. I like being able to see where I'm flying and landing. And this was the one that had a co-pilot seat. You said if we were going to be traveling the verse together, you absolutely didn't want to be bored. You wanted something to do and not just stand behind me. True. Oh, and this one also has that turret gun from the same seat. I want to be able to go pew, 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 pew. Okay, calm down there, Red Baron. The guns are okay, but it's not a big fighting ship. You know, it only has two size two fixed weapons for me and two size two weapons on the turret for you. It'll be capable when we're both together. That 315P had two size three slots for us to either put two size three fixed weapons or two gimbals and two size two weapons. But again, that was just for the pilot. You wouldn't have had anything to do. Not much of a multi-crew ship on that 315, I suppose. But it doesn't have a potty and a coffee maker. They were both pretty good looking ships as I remember. Is this the one with the big flat wings and rotating engines? Yes. This is the one where the wings can go in both directions and it has the VTOL thrusters. But those wings do make it a pretty big target in combat for your pew pew. And you do have to get used to flying it either as a very tall ship or a very wide ship. Remember when we test flew it and I went to land? How I forgot to rotate the ship and scrape the wing on the ground? Yes, very embarrassing. Oh, I've got it, I've got it. So, if this ship doesn't have much cargo, is more likely to get hit, and doesn't have any internal conveniences, is the view, the way it looks, 
and the ability to put my gray cat inside really worth it? If I was buying a ship just for myself, then no. I would probably have bought the 315P. It has more of what I want and is better for going solo for the same price. And that 315 does come with a high-powered scanner. Makes me reminisce of my old exploration bachelor days. But this was a ship for the two of us. I wanted us both to be flying and us both to have something to do together. I was thinking about us. Aw, that's sweet. Seeing how we couldn't afford that Cutlass and that Titan that was a little cheaper didn't have anything for me to do either. I guess it was an okay decision. Just okay? Give me a kiss, you big doof, and let's go get our ship. How much is this gonna set us back anyway? It's about 745,000 Alpha UEC. But that's all our money! It's fine. We're going to get reset soon anyway. Ugh, what do you think I am? Some sort of avatar in a game? Next thing you'll be telling me to press a button and change my hairstyle. Well, I have been thinking you could go for something a little different. Earth? To celebrate having a thousand subscribers, this month I'm giving away a C8X Pisces with lifetime insurance and a game package. So if you've been wanting to get into Star Citizen, this is a good giveaway for you. It's been donated courtesy of Player Algae and in the name of the Reed organization. Reed focuses on science, logistics, and engineering, which includes the trading and mining we have right now, future salvage, exploration, and the science mechanics, that sort of thing when it comes into play. It's a laid-back organization that also has a focus on collaboration and has a defense division to keep those logistics of trading and mining and so on safe. If you would like to enter, just type the keyword Pisces into one of the comments below for the month of January. If you got anything out of this, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll be talking to you later.